Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another video for basic mathematics. Uh, you have been watching so many uh, videos in which I have told you the quickest methods to square the numbers, right? And cubing the numbers is a real difficult job. And why is that? Because for cubing the numbers, you will only find the identity method on the entire internet. The YouTube, you know, it is full of videos for cubing, but if you watch those individual videos, they will only use the identity a plus b whole cube equals a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. There is no other method which helps you in finding the cube of two digit numbers. So I'm, I'm going to explain this to you in this video, how you can simplify this process and probably this uh, video will be in different parts. So for this video, I'm going to take up numbers which end in 1 and I'm going to try and tell you a method through which you can cube these numbers like 21, 31, 41 uh, within just maybe if you practice it can be like 10 seconds but initially it might take like 30, 40 seconds for each question. So let's see what we have in this particular short trick. And before that, talking about short tricks, you all know that we have the super combo of quantitative aptitude and reasoning, uh, which is, uh, you know, proving to be very good for your preparation for SSC uh, exam and then uh, UPSC, uh, CAT, MAT, if, even at school level, if you want to increase your speed of calculations uh, even five times faster, you know, you need to study from the ebook of short tricks. So if you want to have a copy of the ebook of short tricks and the reasoning course combo, then you can send me a message on WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp number 989636963. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp. I'll tell you how to get a copy of that super combo. Uh, the WhatsApp number and uh, the description, uh, you know, it is uh, contained here also in the description box below. Let's see the trick in hand now. First of all, I'm taking the cube of 21. So I want to find 21 cube, which obviously is 21 times 21 times 21. And I want to know what is the product of these three numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is to multiply these two numbers without uh, using any traditional method or without using uh, any vertically and crosswise, which normally the students do. So first thing is 1 times 1, that is 1 only, right? The second thing, this digit is to be multiplied by the last digit, so first and last, okay? So first and last, the product is 2 and the middle 2, the product is 2 again, add them you get 4. So first and last, the middle 2. Take the two products and add them, you will get the digit here. And then the tens digits 2 and 2 multiplied together will give you 4. So with little practice you can find 21 times 21 or the square of 21. Now the important thing is we need to multiply this by 21 again by using the short trick. And for that I am using another method. 1 and 1, the unit digits, right? So the product is always going to end in 1 only. So I will write 1 here, followed by a slash. Why did I put a slash? There is a reason for that. Apart from the 1s, you have 44 here and 2 here, right? Add them. 44 plus 2 is 46. And multiply them. 44 times 2 is 88. And now, Start retaining one digit here, so one, one digit here, so six, and carry forward the tens digit, so 88 plus 4 is 92, and here you have the cube of 21. The interesting thing to note here is that I have not done any calculation in the rough work, and I got to the cube of 21. Squaring 21 is one trick, and then how to multiply the square of 21 by 21 is another trick which I am using here. Now here 
when you do the first question it might look like the uh, process is quite lengthy and traditional multiplication is easier but slowly we are going to build up on this and you will see when I uh, solve the sixth or the seventh question you will see that the trick actually works let's take cube of 31 so 31 cube that means 31 times 31 times 31 now when I multiply these two I will multiply the unit digits 1 times 1 is 1 only and now 3 times 1 1 times 3 that is going to be 3 plus 3 right and that is 6 and 3 times 3 the right? 10 digits gives me 9 so 961 actually is the product of 31 and 31 or the square of 31 now I need to multiply this by 31 so what did I tell you here I told you that the product is going to end in 1 followed by what is the number apart from 1 it is 96 and here it is 3 so add them you get 99 and finally multiply them so 3 times 6 is 8 8 1 carry so 18 means 8 and 1 carry 3 times 9 is 27 and the 1 carry 28 now you have the numbers here so retain the 1 so retain the 9 here and carry forward the 9 288 plus 9 is 297 right and here you have the cube of 31 now you can see it took me lesser time than this question because I was explaining everything to you here so I took a little bit more time but in this case the time consumption is lesser than the first question now let's try and reduce the time for finding the cube of 41 so when I do 41 cube I have to do 41 times 41 times 41, right? Now let's multiply these two. 1, then 4 plus 4 is 8, and 4 times 4 is 16. So 1681, and now I have to need to multiply that by 41. So 1, apart from the 1, we have 168 and 4, which add up to 172, and finally, the product of 168 and 4 so this is a single digit number so i think multiplication by a single digit number should not be a problem 4 times 8 is 32 so 2 3 carry 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 27 7 2 carry and then 4 plus 2 6 and now you will have the answer retain the 1 retain the 2 carry forward the 17 here you get 9 8 6 so 6 8 9 to 1 is the cube of 41. I hope you are getting the concept, you know, and learning two tricks, how to square the numbers ending in 1 and then how to find the product of the square with the number itself. Let's apply it one more time to the number 51 now. So when I do 51 cube, now I will further reduce the complexity, see 51 times 51 times 51, right? So when you do the square, start from 1 and then 5 plus 5 is 10, right? Now 10 is a 2 digit number, so retain the 0 and remember the 1 in the mind. Now 5 times 5 is 25 and the 1 in the mind makes it 26. And now I need to multiply it by 51. So what will happen now? 1 followed by this is 260 and 5 so 265 the sum and what is the product of 260 and 5? The half of 2600 right? That is 1300. See all the mental maths tricks are used uh, in uh, doing various calculations here. So 1, 5 and the 26 gets carried forward so 1326 is the remaining part of the answer giving you 132651 as the cube of 51. Likewise, you can apply it to find the cube of 61 and for 61, let's do 61 times 61 times 61. So the square, I'll do it quickly this time, 1, 6 plus 6, 12, so 2 and a 1 carry, 36 plus 1, 37. See, it's not taking me much time. When you practice this cubing, the squaring becomes so easy. Again, 1 followed by 372 plus 6 is 378. 
and the product 6 times 2 12 2 1 carry 42 plus 1 43 so 3 4 carry 18 plus 4 22 so retain the 1 retain the 8 carry forward the 37 you get 9 6 2 2 and here we go double 2 6 9 8 1 is the cube of 61 now let's do it one more time for 71 and then I'll leave this to you 81 and 91 you can do it as DIY do it yourself okay so 71 cube 71 times 71 times 71 right so let's multiply these two 1 then 7 plus 7 14 so 4 and a 1 carry 49 plus 1 50 and times 71 now 1 504 plus 7 is 511 and the product 7 uh, 4s are 28 and 7 5s are 35. So retain the 1, retain the 1, carry forward the 51, you get 9, 7, 5, 3 and here you have the cube. Now you can see in this question, I have taken like 10 to 15 seconds only getting to my cube but in the first question I took like 40 seconds. So that's what happens, you know, when you start practicing uh, and uh, you know you get more comfortable with the concepts the best thing is coming up now watch what am i going to do now is i am going to try to extrapolate this method for finding the cube of a three digit number ending in one now this is going to be challenging let's see whether i can do it i have to do 141 cube so I have to do 141 times 141 times 141. Let's square the number first. Obviously it will end in 1. 14 and 14. 28. So 8. 2 carry. 14 times 14. 196 plus 2. 198. 19881 happens to be the square of 141. And now I have to multiply 19881 by 141 and that will give me the cube of 141. So it's a challenge now. Uh, 1 at the end. Apart from the 1, we have 1988 and 14, right? If you add them, 1988 plus 12 is 2000. So 2002, this comes in the middle. And now multiplication is the only step which might trouble you if you don't know the table of 14. For me, if I know the table of 14, it is easy. 14 times 8 is, you can, you can actually do that without use of tables also, 80 and 32, right? That's how students do. So that is 112 and 112 means 2, 11 carry. 14, 8 times is again 112, 112 plus 11 is 123, so 3, 12 carry, 14 times 9 is 126, 138, so 8, 13 carry and 14 plus 13 is 27. So if you know the tables well, 14 times table is going to be the key here. And the rest of it is very easy. You know what to do in the last step. Retain one digit at a time. And I think you will get your final answer for the cube. So 1, then 2. And then this 200 will get carried forward here. That gives you 2, 3, 8, 2, 10, 0, 1 carry. So 8 and 2. Now pick up the calculators and check. 2, 8, 0, 3, 2, 2, 1. Is that the cube of 141? I'm sure you must be surprised by the result, by the accuracy of these calculations. So, friends, do something. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you some DIYs. Try 81 cube, try 91 cube, and try to extrapolate these to find cubes of some three digit numbers. I'll give you some numbers. Uh, let's try 121 cube and 171 cube. And let me know in the comment section whether you could find the cubes of these numbers using this amazing, amazing method. So friends, if you're liking all these videos, especially 
made for you exclusive on youtube then do share it with all your friends uh, do subscribe the channel you know that's very important you subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon uh, given alongside the subscribe button uh, because if you don't click the bell shaped icon you are not going to get notifications of future uploads so do that and practice this trick and let me know in the comments did it benefit you thanks for watching and all the best